Today we're going to be doing the cylinder honing. Um, I've already done the passenger side um, to show you kind of what the results we're looking for. So if you look up real close you can see those uh, marks on it, the hash marks. We want them between a 40 and 60 degree angle according to Chrysler. So that's one that's already been done. If you look over on this side, that's the one that has not been done yet. So this engine is still new enough where um, you can see most of the hash marks and uh, pretty prevalent. So in reality, we're more just doing an a overall deglazing. We're not putting a lot of pressure in there. We're not doing very many passes. Um, we're just looking to get rid of kind of that glaze. That way the new piston rings will uh, seat properly. So how we do that, we're renting a honing tool from O'Reilly's. That's what it looks like. I have a bucket of water here to rinse off the tool when it starts getting clogged up. And uh, Chrysler does not want motor oil or ATF or even mineral spirits used for the honing process. Um, so I'm actually just using a vegetable oil. So it seems to be working really well. Um, I'm barely having to touch these things to get that glaze off. Um, I've been doing three very short passes on it in between rinsing it off in the bucket reapplying vegetable oil and then coming back to it so okay so I've lubed up my tool with the vegetable oil the cylinder bore is nice and cleaned out um, find an angle that works this is on a spring so you can kind of change the angle but you want to try and be as straight as possible so the pressure is applied evenly so I think the best way to do this is just going to be coming in through the side together when you first go in, like that, and then go ahead and do, do some honing. Okay, if you notice I held the trigger down, I kept it held down as I pulled it out, that'll make sure you don't get any horizontal lines in there. So, piece of cake.